What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. It's been a minute since I made one of these. Um, and today we're going to be talking about GT bosses, because as many of you know, especially if you're a JP player of Dokkan, we just got an LR Omega Shinron, and he's been a huge topic because what happened to him is unfortunate. So if you don't know, I'll just pick you up to speed real quick. So LR Omega Shinron just dropped on JP, and the unit itself like him omega shinron is a good unit the problem is he has no team and that's basically what this video is going to be about i'm going to be talking about what i think they could do to buff the gt bosses category because it desperately needs help so that's just what we're going to just go ahead and jump straight into it what i think they could do to buff gt bosses so the first thing is let me click over here okay they could easy a this super 17 now the main thing with him though that i want to talk about first is i don't think he would easy a this year because I, I believe he was a 2021 release and we so far have not gotten any characters to easy a from 2021 so i don't think he would easy a until like next year at the earliest like i'm thinking like late next year at the earliest is when this guy would easy a um because like i said we haven't gotten any 2021 units and I think the only, like right now we just started 2020 units with Kaioken Blue Goku and he's like the earliest 2020 unit we have. So there's still a lot more to get through for 2020 units, which I think we'll get more of those next year. So I don't see this Super 17 easy aang till late next year or even the year after. So keep that in mind. But I do want to talk about his kit here and why I think he should easy a because, or I'm more like for this guy actually, what I think his easy a should do. So his leader skill is GT bosses are androids, right? But the problem with this unit and why he sucked when he came out was, well, first of all, GT bosses still back then wasn't even that good. But if you look here at the stuff I have highlighted, right, is he's a GT bosses lead, but his passive, he wants androids and target Goku to build up defense and attack is the problem. And then after that, he gets like 70% damage reduction. Um, and then he gets like key plus one with each attack received, which weird, it's high chance that should just be guaranteed that's weird uh anyway um so yeah he gets uh his like he builds up his defense and all that by uh like with uh with the androids category or target goku that's the main problem with him and the problem with easy a's is they don't typically change that about units so i think this super 17 is still gonna want androids or target goku so what I think they could do to make him better and work actually like actually work for GT bosses is just give him some guard maybe like maybe for the first few turns he can get guard uh cuz let me see cuz he does build up key with each attack received so maybe for like 5 or like 7 turns he builds up guard and then also buff his damage reduction somehow so maybe he can get like an extra thing where it's like he gets more like 5% more damage reduction with GT bosses though I don't think they'll do that cuz that's what Omega Shinron has so I don't think they're actually going to give him that I think he definitely needs more damage reduction and then some guard and then he'll be okay the pro this is the main problem with his kit though is the androids and target goku which uh i should pull it up actually really quick i might make a little cut right here because i want to see what units are on both androids and target goku let me pull that up real quick all right so i pulled up this website on my other monitor shout out to the site you know i don't know who made the site but i just found it online so I just wanted to show off who is on target Goku and GT bosses. So we've got a couple units here. So we have this baby from the, um, that we just got with the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. We have this Super 17 here, the STR one. We have LR baby who just easy aid. These two who are on target Goku. And then we have like a bunch of old units here after that, right? So a bunch of units that don't really matter. These two easy aid, but they're kind of mid is the problem. Um, but we'll talk about this in a second so yeah just to just just wanted to show off what's on that category which actually based on some stuff that's happening later the target goku condition might not actually be a problem the main thing though is you, what you'll notice is he will immediately be debuffed on gt bosses because omega and none of the shadow dragons are on target goku so that's the problem he will he won't be able to build up his full passive on gt bosses that that's the main problem it's either android or target goku but 
well, as you just saw, like, most of those units kind of suck, uh, or don't really work well on a team, because, like, GT bosses just isn't that great of a category. Especially trying to do target Goku GT bosses, like, it just doesn't work. You would run Super 17, like, he'd be better on androids, is the, the problem with him. So maybe if they add in some sort of a condition, because I don't see them changing the androids to target Goku thing, unfortunately, because they just typically don't when they EZA units. But I think if they just give him, like, some guard and maybe more damage reduction, he might be okay. He also needs, uh, on his super attacks, uh, he only raises attack on his 12 key. So he doesn't have anything on his 18 key. So if they give him, like, defense for some turns, he could be a viable option. Maybe, like, it still wouldn't be the best for Super 17, but if they give him more guard, or if they give him guard, give him more damage reduction somehow, like, maybe... He gets key plus one, like like you see with the with each attack received down here. Maybe he's getting like key plus one and like two or three percent damage reduction, something like that, right? So he's still building up more defense as he gets hit, and he would still be getting some buffs from Target Goku because, like I showed on the other monitor, a lot of those units, uh, well maybe not a lot, but like I said, we'll talk about it later because, uh, but some of the units on Target Goku you will be running on GT bosses still, so he'll be getting something for those passive at least. Uh, but it's just not going to be the greatest is the problem because I don't see them changing that condition Because uh, like I said, they typically like when they build a unit a certain way What they do is they take what they already have and make it better. They're not going to get rid of Android to target Goku I just like highly doubt that that's, that's going to happen. So um, But yeah, we'll, we'll just see what they do there. So Next thing I've got for how they can buff GT bosses is we could get a Dokkan Fest baby now for him, like, uh, he, th this baby was something that we all thought was going to be coming out now, where Omega Shinron is. We all thought we were going to get baby because it made a lot of sense. The Super Saiyan 4 Goku was from the baby saga that we got. Uh, the AGL Grade 8 baby just easy aid, which we all knew he was going to easy aid. So a baby like, uh, LR is what we were expecting. But honestly, I think a Dokkan Fest works better than for him because Omega definitely needed an LR. Another LR baby would be good, but I think he could be a good Dokkan Fest. Now, the main thing I want to talk about with him, though, is when we could see this happen at the earliest. So I'm going to pull it up here. This monitor. Shout out to the Doke on Wiki. But I think at the earliest, we would be getting, uh, like, we could potentially get a Doke on Fest baby on October 4th. Or, well, in October, I should say. Like, early October. Now, the reason I say that is I'm basing this all off of how things went last year. But let's go back to, right now it's July when I'm recording this, right? So July last year on JP, we got Merge Zamasu. As the part two, because uh, the part one Tanabata last year was Vegeta and Trunks, and the part two was the Merge Zamasu. So right now, this Merge Zamasu is where Omega Shinron came out right now. So right. So then, you know, we got a bunch of like. Um... Oh, actually, hold on. I, I just realized it could be right after, actually, because I I forgot Dokkan Fest Pan came out right after um, right after Zamasu. So they could do that, but I. I don't know. It's kind of funny how last year was a GT uh, Dokkan Fest right after Tanabata. I forgot that there's a Dokkan Fest right after Tanabata. So Scratch what I said before. This would be technically the earliest we could get Baby, but I mean, we again, it's possible. Like, we don't know what they could put here, honestly. Like, it could be really anything. Uh, so this would be like the Dokkan Fest in two weeks. So I guess we'll know in two weeks if it's going to be a Baby. Part of me just kind of doubts it, though. Uh, I just think this will be something else. But, um... Yeah, so never mind. We don't even need to talk about anything else because uh, it could be right here. But I, I guess like just to go over what what I was originally thinking because I just somehow completely missed this is, uh, so there is that Dokkan Fest. But let's say it's not that slot. Like, let's say they give us like I don't know Super Trunks or something there, right? So after July we go into August, but in August there wasn't really anything. Like the only banner we got was the Peppy Gals banner here, and then it moved straight into Worldwide. So we got the cooler celebration. And I don't think Worldwide is going to be GT themed. I actually got a video on that coming out soon that I recorded. I already recorded it and edited it, edited it and everything on what my idea for Worldwide is going to be. So stay tuned for that coming out soon. But yeah, it just went straight into Worldwide after that. So uh, then after that in September was part two of Worldwide. So that's what we're going to be getting there. And then the next Dokkan Fest, like the actual Dokkan Fest was in October. So... I think the earliest we could see Baby uh, is either going to be right here, right after Tanabata, or it'll be in October. Those are the two earliest times we could see a Dokkan Fest Baby drop, but I think we, like, need one because GT Bosses just needs the buffs. And I think it would be it would make sense because, well, with my idea, because, okay, I already have, 
I'm, I'm gonna I'm not gonna spoil what the other video is but basically I already have my ideas for what categories could be getting buffed for worldwide and for uh, ninth anniversary so I think sprinkling GT bosses in throughout that too would be a good thing because right now with the units they dropped like the Omega just came out he needs help super 17 has been in purgatory so I think that like if we get more GT bosses buffs throughout next year and like throughout this year maybe not like obviously not every single dog on fest comes out is gonna be gt bosses but if we got at least the baby i think that would be good now only thing with the baby though is his side banner units because like ideally what we would want for his side banner units would be like um like a real dough because real dough would also be on gt bosses right but the problem is I just don't think they're going to do that because I think what's more likely is they do this. So this is, again, from the Baby Saga. It's the exact same Baby Vegeta, actually. This is just uh, the character's name would just be Baby Vegeta, by the way. So not like Super Baby 2, like the one we have. But even if it was, we, the Super Baby 2s in the game are both great apes. So even if this guy was just Super Baby 2, it still works. But I think more than likely, we would be getting like the Tuffle controlled like Goten, Gohan, Trunks, and Bola. Like I think these make more sense for side banner units. It'd be kind of like the um uh, when we got the GT Goku and Vegeta Dokkan Fest, how we got the the banner unit. It was tr uh, Goten and Trunks, and then Trunks and Gohan, or not Trunks and Gohan, Goten and Gohan. So we got those two as side banner units. I think they could do the same thing here, but as just with like the Tuffle controlled version. But the problem with that is they wouldn't be on GT bosses. So they're not buffing that category. Uh, like I said, real though would be cool, but I just don't see them doing real though just cause to fit baby. Cause I think baby would probably lead like, if he's a 200%, I could see it being like GT bosses and corroded body and mind for his two main categories. Uh, or maybe it'd be like Corroded Body and Mind would be like a 30%, but honestly, I think he would be a, at least a 170 for Corroded Body and Mind. I could just see that. And then that puts these guys all on Baby's category, so that would make the most sense that they do for a Dokkan Fest Baby. So, as cool as Rildo would be as like a side unit, because I don't know who else it could be, because let, let, since I have it here, let's just pull up the category. I don't know who else would be a good side unit for Baby. I mean, because I'm looking at GT bosses, right? So off of gt bosses i don't know i don't think any of these other characters work as a side unit for baby unless it's just like another baby but i don't see them doing that i think the tuffle controlled like goten bola and all them makes sense and put them on like corroded body and mind that just seems like the most likely thing that they would do so i don't like looking at these other characters it's like real the only one who could maybe be a side unit but i just don't see it uh, all right, so moving back to the slideshow here. So the next thing they could do is, uh, so these two images that I'm gonna show here, I actually pulled these off of the Dokkan subreddit. So I'm gonna link to the original ones here just cause I just kind of, you know, yoinked the pictures. But I think the biggest thing GT bosses needs now is a new event because, uh, let me see if I can pull it up here really quick. All right, so before we talk about the units that, um, why I think that uh, we need an event like this, because I feel like this honestly, like I'm talking about GT bosses specifically here, but I think something like this, like again, ultimate blue zone, like it just doesn't mean, basically what, what I'm talking about is just like a super class version of red zone. Cause so far red zone has all been like villain characters. I think we need some super class characters to fight for villains. And specifically, I think an event like this one, uh, like a fighting legend Gohan would be perfect because we need specifically an event that's long that we could fight uh super class units against and i'll talk about the main reason why in a second but i think this applies to like a lot of villains because even like turles he needs like a super class uh like he needs like a i think gohan would actually fit i think he needs to it has to be like goku's family or hybrid saiyans for turles if i remember right that you need to fight so a gohan event like this that because the fighting legend goku event and even the vegeta and gt goku one back in the day was long content because there's like multiple different phases because you're going through each like form of goku so this was long content so getting like a modern day version of that would again be long content like obviously you'd have to buff the gohan and he'd be the hardest version of this uh event but i think if we got something like this it would be good for the game because of the villains and the main one i want to talk about here is on the next slide this super 17 because okay let's read what he's got so I did break up his passive if you want to read it out here, but the main thing we need to talk about here is he gets an additional defense plus 17 with each attack received up to 170, and he can get 
a medium chance of doing a crit when there's a super class enemy so again part of his passive requires it to be a super class enemy but none of the hard content in the game right now has a super class enemy so i think we need either like i said blue zone or like a legendary gohan event or something like the fighting legend gohan because i think specifically i'd prefer like a fighting legend thing just because that at the time like the old fighting legend events was longer content like those were really long stages like back in the day those like the g i remember the gt goku event came out and it was crazy he was super hard to, unless you had like all the best units obviously but i think you could say that about any event right but he was really hard to fight and um like uh, like back in the day so i think getting a modern version with like modern power creep i guess would be perfect but so now you might be thinking just reading super 17's passive that i mean he's like he sounds pretty good because he just builds up defense he only needs to get hit 10 times here's the problem though is with this part of him he has to fuse before those 10 hits and you can't fuse into super 17 until turn five and that's only if your hp is 70 percent or less which isn't hard especially in harder content like that's an easy condition but that means at minimum like okay let's say super 17 takes like i don't know three hits like so like okay you got to get to turn five to fuse right so that's already five turns which by then most events are lasting like what two more turns like maximum like like i feel like harder content nowadays does not last that many turns so the problem is you get super 17 out on turn five and you're fighting most of the time the already the final phase of whatever boss like especially red zone so the problem is then he just gets cooked because he had no chance to build up um so like let's say okay so he builds up you know defense so he has to get hit 10 times right so let's say on average he's getting hit three times every turn right so that would take at least six more turns to build super 17 up fully because you got to think so he'd be on the rotation then he gets hit three times then he's not on the next turn so like let's say turn five so turn six or turn five he gets his three hits right then turn six he's not there turn seven he gets three more turn eight he's not there so it take up to turn nine if he gets hit three times each turn mind you that's if he gets that many hits it would take up to turn nine well not even because that would actually only be nine hits on turn nine um so you'd have to come back turn 11 to get his final hit which i mean i i, I won't count that though i'll say turn nine just to be generous because it's like you know turn five he's getting three then turn seven and then turn nine he gets three so like that's basically his full passive he would just need one more hit after that but still the point my point is it's gonna take that many turns just to build up super 17 and so most long content in this game doesn't last that long or if it does you're already on the last phase because what because what's gonna happen most of the time is you get to turn five you fuse into super 17 and then guess what you get super right away turn one that you fused you just get supered and he's got no defense built up so he just dies because he does at the beginning of his passive he gets like 34 percent damage reduction for a few turns an additional 17 percent but the problem is if you're getting supered without any defense built up it doesn't matter you're just gonna die <laughs> like the like if you're fighting like red zone or not even red zone the shadow dragon event sin or even the new omega that's coming out this 17 just gets cooked but in an event like the legendary gohan event or something for example that would give this 17 more time to build up because the way the gt goku and like vegeta event and all that was built built up was like you fight every form before you get to like the final form which is the hardest so gohan's case you get all the way up to beast so that means this 17 would have time to build up during like teen gohan and like super saiyan 2 then like ultimate gohan like you know he'd have all of those turns to build up if they especially if this is like modern power creep i don't think those phases are going to be like easy to just kill right away so like i think an event like that would be perfect because then super 17 maybe can tank supers without just getting cooked immediately because you're not on the final phase of the boss right away so this super 17 would actually have a chance to build up and all of that so i think that would be a huge buff for gt bosses in general mostly because again this super 17 right now he just sucks but if we got a long event he'd be good and then the other reason i want it to be like a super class long event because i guess you could argue that this could also apply to extreme class right but the other reason is let me pull up because we just got uh like i said this baby over here just easy aid in his passive right here it says he gets a chance of like his crit like part of his passive so he gets a 40 percent chance to crit with a pure hybrid saiyan's enemy so like i said legendary gohan event would make this perfect because then he just has his full passive i mean obviously with baby though it's not really a, the most important thing i would say to be honest because the rest of his kid is actually not bad 
It's just he needs a team. That's that's the main problem. But he gets defense like on his super and stuff. He can guarantee go into grade ape when HP is 40% or less. I think it's like three turns, two to three turns of grade ape. Just like Orange Piccolo and all these other grade ape transformations. Uh, and then he gets a high chance to dodge after that. So he is good. And especially would be good for like a like a longer event. And like I said, I am talking specifically about GT bosses right here. But honestly, like the legendary Gohan event or whatever would be good for other villain teams too, like Turles, because he needs to fight a, in a an enemy like that. And there, we've gotten like some units. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Like I can't name them specifically. I'd have to go look back at what we've gotten recently. But I know there's been a few units like that where like they're not bad. We just don't have any long content for them to really be able to build up. And that's what I think we need right now. So I think uh, I'm talking specifically about Super 17 because again, he's not even a bad unit. He's not, he's good. We just don't have the right event to use him in, so you can't really even call him good. Because right now, where the game is, he just has nowhere to be run. Because I guess you could go run like GT Goku event, but that that event's been so power crap. Like you could bring any team in there at this point and beat it. Like it doesn't even matter. But if we got like a new hard event that would let Super Seventeen build up, he would be fine. <laughs> and then even like look look at the rest of his passive at the bottom here too. He can absorb Key Blast supers, recover thirty four percent HP. Uh, and then he, if he's, uh, HP is 34% or less, he gets a scouter effect. Like, he is good. He has the potential to be good. It's just that in current content, you fuse him on turn, because the main problem, if he didn't have to fuse on turn 5, he would be fine. <laughs> is it thing? Like, it literally, what's holding back Super 17 is this, is, uh, this part of the unit. Because it takes 5 turns to get to this, and then when you do, you get supered and die. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that if... If this guy just if we get like longer content, he has a chance to build up. We'll be cooking with GT bosses, and then like I said, the baby will also be getting his crits. Um. Oh, and he also I just uh, I was also just reading his passive again. I think that part of that crit he's he's also getting key plus six and attack and defense plus a hundred. So he does get more stats too with the pure hybrid Saiyan's enemy. So I think we need something like that. So now my next point here though is I think this unit right here this should be an LR now only thing with them is i don't know when they would drop as an lr i think this should just be like a random carnival at some point like maybe i don't know uh maybe when like the hachiak movie goku dropped last or this year or something i don't know but i think them being a unit would work just because they would be perfect for gt bosses and i think out of everything like we've gotten from gt this could be like a like i said like a random just carnival lr maybe free to play or something but i think like GT bosses, like getting a free to play GT boss, like would be kind of scary, you know? Um, but I think this moment is deserving of an LR moment because this is also from the Super 17 arc, I believe. Yeah. Um, and this is like one of the only things I remember is Frieza and Cell coming back. Now, obviously, the screenshot here, the art's a little ugly, but the point is, I just think Frieza and Cell should get an LR together because we do already technically have like a GT Frieza and a GT Cell, but they're separate. I think putting them together and giving them like good animations and all that, this could work as an LR, like very easily. This could be an LR. Like you just put, again, like just put them together on a card. There's a bunch of animations that are completely untouched, like Frieza throwing Destructo discs and stuff. Like that hasn't been used in Dokkan at all. The, like I said, the only problem with this is that I don't know when they would do it because I think it'd have to be either just a random LR drop like Super Boo <laughs> this year or it would have to be during like some GT celebration. I don't know next time they're going to do a GT celebration, especially because we just got the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So I don't know when GT is going to happen again, but I just think that they would be good for GT bosses. That's another good buff for GT bosses. And I, it's just very, I, I feel like this is definitely going to get a unit at some point because it just, it just makes sense. And going along with that is these two could Dokkan Awaken and Easy A because these two right now are only drop characters that you can get from uh, like one of the story events. They're just drop characters. But the reason I would because the reason I put Easy A is because obviously ideally we would want them to just Dokkan Awaken with good kids. But we know how Dokkan works. Free to play units they also they always Dokkan Awaken them and then Easy A them right away, which it kind of sucks because it would be better if they just dropped like like imagine if every free to play unit right now just dropped with their easy a passives like their like whatever the, is in their passive skill when they easy aid imagine if they just dropped with that and their super attack effects and then later on they could easy and make them better the problem with easy aing free to play units when they drop is that that kind of puts them at their peak right then they can't really get any better until they introduce because they have been talking they they did talk about the devs like omatsu and all them they did talk about how they were looking into ways to maybe get us to like 
easy a characters again or power them up so they're still usable because like like for example agl super saiyan 3 goku the very first easy a he sucks like <laughs> he just got power crept again which again it's natural it's gonna happen he was the very first easy a so duh but it's like he's just completely unusable <laughs> and so they're trying to find a way to just try to bring those units back into the meta which i think makes a lot of sense so the only reason I put Easy here is because I think it's just realistically what they're going to do. Ideally, though, we'd want them to just drop with whatever, like just with a good base kit and then the Easy later on and then they can be a lot better. But I especially want to talk about their kits because this Frieza actually has a really good base kit. Like this is very promising. He is giving extreme class ally support, key plus two attack and defense plus 25, and then he's already getting 30% damage reduction. Now, obviously, this is just an SSR, so that alone, like, he's going to get cooked. But with, an, with a Dokkan Awakening and Easy A, this Frieza could be really, really crucial for GT bosses. Because he's, again, supporting, and they give him damage reduction. So they just give him, like, he awakens in Easy A's. If he gets, like, defense on super, uh, maybe has, like, guard or something. Like, it could be conditional guard. Like, again, connecting into, like, the whole Legendary Gone event, maybe he gets guard when you're fighting, like, a... High, like a goku family unit or like a super class unit then he gets guard or something or like they'd probably do like high chance to guard or something be, being real but something like that just give him like conditional guard too with the damage reduction and the support and this freeze is going to be really really good for gt bosses like he hasn't awakened yet like I, like you could see there he came out in 2018 <laughs> so you know I, this would also have to be a thing that happens in a gt celebration but this frieza actually has so much potential and you can see his categories here at the bottom he is indeed on gt bosses so and he's actually on target goku so that's another buff for the tech super 17 that's another you know this i think this frieza could become a must run on gt bosses if they give him the right stuff like like I, I haven't talked about the cell because the cell isn't as good this frieza though looks so promising like his base kit right here, just like Unawakened, is already really good. Obviously, like, not runnable, but the direction that they could go with this. He's already giving support. They could just buff that support up to like 40% maybe. And then give him like a... I think they'd probably keep his damage reduction or maybe he builds up damage reduction or something. But just give him defense on super and give him like guard or something. He could be like a slot one for GT bosses. He, he like... He could really, really be good. And then the cell... Uh, he's also a support unit too, so if they, if they awaken both of these, so then maybe they shouldn't do 40%, because both of these guys supporting GT bosses would be crazy, but we do need it. Um, but he only recovers 7% HP, which I think what they could do with him is just make him a slot 2 unit, because then what you get is this rotation right here would be crazy, because I don't know how many links they really share. They have, look, Shocking Speed, GT, Nightmare... And then I think that's it. Yeah, that's they only share three links. So, like, you know, they wouldn't... I don't know how well they're actually going to link up. I've never run these units, so... Um, but, like, again, it wouldn't actually even matter because they both have support, key plus two. So, that's key plus four for GT bosses. Already really good. Um, and then he's recovering HP. So, I think if they just make Cell a good slot two, like, maybe post-super, he greatly raises defense or something. So, I feel like the Frieza could just raise, like, attack and defense on super. And then this Cell should greatly raise defense. Because then you get post super with this cell, you run him slot two with the Frieza. So then you have damage reduction, and then let's say Frieza gets supered. Well, then you attack with Cell. They could just buff how much HP he's recovering, and then you just get all that HP back. Now, obviously, if Cell gets super, that's a different story. But actually, no. This oh, this is at the start of turn actually. So it'd be if you took damage the turn before, then you're gonna heal up a little bit, and then you just put Frieza slot one, and then this Cell slot two. Perfect, perfect rotation for GT bosses. I think these two are very promising if they just give them Dokkan Awakenings and Easy A's. And all they'd have to do is convert the thing, like the story event they dropped from into like one of those Dragon Ball story things. But I think these two really, especially this Frieza man, like, whew, he could, he could really save GT bosses. These two, especially because they both already have support because they're not going to get rid of that when they awaken. They might just leave it at 25, which I think would be fair, because giving them both 40 would be crazy. Because that would be, with both of them on rotation, would be like a GT Vegeta buff. Like the LR uh, from the the, the uh, exchange, or I guess not exchange, the standby from the GT Goku and Vegeta for 8th anniversary. That would be like that level of a buff, because it's key plus 4, and if they both have 40% support, it's attack and defense plus 80. That'd be insane. <laughs> 
so i think that they maybe just leave it at 20 like leave the support part as it is because that's still good key plus four attacking defense plus 50 is still really good for gd bosses so uh the only thing is you'd obviously run to like run them together so that'd be like one rotation but that's honestly fine because gt bosses needs whatever it can get right now so i think these two is like i said especially that frieza have good potential but we'll have to see what they actually do with them if they do anything with them i think they should but we'll see now i do want to end this video off though by talking about a few other things that could maybe happen but so everything i talked about in the first part of the video was stuff that i think like desperately should happen i think could realistically happen you know except maybe like you could argue that lr isn't realistic but i think that just because like the animations are untouched and all of that it could definitely happen at some point i could see that becoming a unit like it just makes sense um so the honorable mentions here i wanted to talk about because i kind of talked about him earlier but real though he could also be a dokkan fest that we get uh the only problem with real though is like i actually don't know i have to look at him like his links and stuff but like like i just feel like he, baby may like i don't see them doing real though before baby you know because baby is a lot more hype of a character and then he could be like transforming and stuff I can see Riddle getting one at some point. I just don't see it happening before Baby. And like I said, if he's not a side banner unit for Baby, which I do think won't happen, he could get his own Dokkan Fest. I just don't see it happening anytime soon is why. Because he would be like one of those random drops like we got like, uh, you know, Path to Power Kid Goku, like Pan. But I don't know if they would do two different GT boss Dokkan Fest in one year. It could happen. Like maybe we get one this year and then next year we get Riddle. But like, I feel like we're probably just gonna get real like a baby first like what if real do dropped before baby i would actually be in shock because <laughs> baby makes so much more sense than real do. but either way it's a gt boss's buff so a w is a w but i think baby coming out first makes sense especially because we just got the grade 8 baby easy a and they would link up together and everything it just makes it's just a slam dunk makes perfect sense but we'll see and then the other thing i want to talk about because i feel like some people might bring this up but i do want to touch on this is this lr shadow dragons now i put easy a here because i think some people are probably going to bring up that this unit is a gt bosses unit that could easy a the problem with them is they're a battlefield lr right so you have to play battlefield you get the currency and then you trade for this unit the problem with them though is we have two other battlefield lrs in front of them that need to easy a because the way they always do battlefield easy a's is they're in order of how they drop so we have the mecha frieza and king cold and then the Deborah and Bobbity. Those two units still have not easy aid. And they would have to easy aid before this unit to actually work. Because, so let's pull up. Let me, um, let me pull up Ooh really quick. Because he did easy aid. Let me, let me pull him up. All right. So switching over to the other monitor now. I, I just went ahead and pulled up all the Battlefield LR just so I can make this point. But, okay. So you see Ooh. Uh, we're going to go off of the JP dates because everything I'm talking about in this video is going off of JP, not global. Just because Omega just came out on JP, so it makes the most sense to talk about GT bosses with him. Um, but so this Oob came out in February of 2019, and he didn't easy till 2022. So three years later is when he easy ate, right? So, and he was the last Battlefield LR to easy So this was last year. So we should be getting one this year in August, right? But my point here is, though, if we look at the if it'll load yeah so if we look at the gt or gt the lr mecha freeze and king cold you'll notice they have not easy aid they came out in 2019 also so i think they came out right after oob yeah they came out the same year after oob but they have an easy aid so i i believe let me make sure it's not them okay yeah, they came out 2020 so next in line to easy a is gonna be this king cold and mecha frieza so they should be dropping I would assume the EZA in August, just like this Oob did on, on JP. Um, so I assume they're going to EZA in August. So like right after, or I guess right before Worldwide, they'd EZA. Um, yeah, so so they should be EZA like pretty soon based on how that went. Because again, this would be 2019. So it'd be three years later for them also. Because uh, yeah, Oob came out February. The only thing is Oob came out February. So they might even EZA this guy later. Because he came out in July, so he could come out later. And then after that, we have this Deborah and Bobbity, who came out in 2020, so he wouldn't easy A till like, uh, well, it is technically three years later still, but I think it wouldn't be till next year. So that means this guy isn't easy A till like 2025, probably, <laughs> or maybe even like next year. Because the, the thing is, like, the Oob came out earlier in the year, though. So he came out early 2019 and easy A mid 2022. But these guys came out mid 2019, so I don't see them easy until like 
I mean, it's already past 2022, right? So they'd probably have to EZA middle of this year. But then that's like, it's already past July 1st, right? So it's been four years <laughs> since they came out. And they haven't easy it yet, which I think they're going to easy it this year, right? So going off of that trend, right? So then Bobbity and Deborah came out May. So it'll probably be four years to the EZA. So next year, they'll probably EZA. Which means this unit probably wouldn't EZA till 2025. So it's going to be a minute before this guy actually EZAs. But I will say, when they do EZA, it could be good for GT bosses. Because, like, look, they're also a support unit for GT bosses. Like we can see here. Uh, like, uh, yeah, right here. GT bosses category, key plus one, tag divas plus 30. So they could also EZA and be really good for GT bosses. It's just, that's why I put them in the honorable mention section because realistically, they're not EZAing for a while. They're not EZAing for at least two or yeah, at least two years. Uh, unless they decide to just EZA a bunch of them randomly, then I, yeah, they're, like unless they decide to EZA like Deborah and Bobbity and then the Mecha Freeze and Kinko like at the same time, but I don't think they're going to. So it's probably going to be this year we're getting the Frieza and King Cold, and then next year we're going to get the um, the Dabor and Bobbity. Because, yeah, the last EZA was last August, so we should be getting one this year, which is going to be them. And then we should get one next year, which will be them. And then the year after that, it's going to be this guy. So it's going to be a minute. But I will say it, it could still kind of work out if we get more GT bosses buffs next year. Because if they consistently buff GT bosses, like, obviously going at, like, a slow enough pace where this guy would still be relevant, it could work still. I think it still makes sense, but it's just GT bosses needs help, like, now, <laughs> you know? Uh, I don't think we're going to get any crazy power creep, though, so we'll see. But, yeah, so just to put it in perspective, this guy's not easy until after the 10th anniversary, so... Yeah, we've, we've got quite a bit to go before he comes up, but, again, with his support, though... GT bosses category allies key plus three and then his active is key plus seven <laughs> so like wow he he is gonna be really good and like right now like the way he is now he's kind of good for i think like super battle road and stuff right but i'm talking about like hard content he is gonna be good with an easy a but it's just not happening anytime soon but that's pretty much everything i had though that's the end of the slideshow here so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below let me know if you think like maybe i missed something that they could do to gt bosses let me know if you think any of this is even remotely realistic for what they could do i think like me personally i do think it is possible but again it all just comes down to what the devs care about like do they care to buff gt bosses i don't know but if they do this video is just kind of like hey this is what gt bosses needs this is what would be good at least pushing us in the right direction for gt bosses because it definitely needs some help but the fact that gave us an omega right now it's like and he's a 200 percent lead for gt bosses it's like i just feel like there's no way they drop a 200 percent lead for gt bosses knowing that the category is dead you know there's no way they drop this without something being planned because amatsu they did say that they have everything up until the 10th anniversary planned so i just don't imagine we go into next year or like we leave next year without more gt bosses buffs because um like I said, because uh, there are other random releases we got this year. Like, we got the Super Boo, for example. LR Super Boo just dropped out of nowhere. But I do think that all of this is on purpose. I think what they want to do is drop these units. And then it's like, if you got them now, they're going to increase in value as time goes on. Maybe this is their way of, like, trying to counter Power Creep or something, right? Because... I mean, they, but they could have just dropped Omega later, right? But I think, like, the point here, though, is that they... Instead of dropping the buffs for Omega first and then dropping Omega... It's like they drop Omega first, make him good, and then as more units come out, he just gets better and better and better. So then his lifespan lasts longer. That could be what they're going for here. I don't know. That would make some sense, but it's also like, like, bro, it, why would you just randomly drop Omega? Like, I feel like people would be way more hyped to summon, though, if he had a good team. Like, if, if GT Bosses was a top-tier team, everyone's going to summon. Well, maybe not everyone, but people because omega is already popular but then gt bosses being top tier people are going to summon right now i feel like some people are like turned away from summoning because he's just not good <laughs> like played it simple i mean omega is good but he just doesn't have a team is what i mean so yeah we'll see what they do though but i just don't imagine because like super boo i think was also on purpose which i'm gonna talk about in my other video that i have uh for my worldwide idea which should be coming out soon uh, i'm gonna upload this video like right away it'll probably be after anniversary on globals when that comes out so a couple weeks till i drop that but we'll see 
But yeah, that's basically everything. Like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think GT bosses are just going to stay dead? Do you think Omatsu is doing this on purpose? Or do you think they're just trying to bait us and they're not actually going to do that? We're just going to get 50 more base Gokus. I don't know. And like I said, also let me know if you guys have any other ideas for buffs for GT bosses that I didn't talk about here. But I think the main thing is just the new content and then giving us like a new Dokkan Fest and then easy Angs and units and Dokkan Awakening those other units. I think all of that is good for GT bosses. Would it be crazy if they easy if they awaken that GT Frieza and Cell, and then 2025 comes around, we get the GT Shadow Dra or the LR Shadow Dragons easy aid. That's three different support units. Like, bro, <laughs> that's like kind of broken actually. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, share this video around to your grandma, your grandpa, your manager, coworkers, or just you know, just want to get the topic talking about GT bosses. But yeah, till next time though. Let's see you all later and. Peace. Have a good day or night, y'all.